Okay, Tyrael. So, Tyrael got a rework, and his basic kit is still the same, but he's got a number of changes. Uh, particularly in his talents. Now, his health has gone up by a fair amount. Let's see how much exactly. 8, 20, uh, 68, 72, 172. So that's what? Okay. Maybe eight percent. Eldruin's might five mana less. Righteousness ten mana less. Smite still same mana. A little bit more damage. Can be cast while moving. And allies always have forty percent of the shield from uh, from his main. Now at level one he gets. Uh, more shield for himself, and if it's destroyed, gain health. Or allies gain more shield. Or when people damage Tyrael, he... Oh, sorry. When Tyrael damages people, he gains health regen. Stackable. And all the other crap is gone. Four. Throw out your sword, and during that time you have armor. And after you teleport, three seconds armor. Bound by law. Throw out your sword to slow people is now more slow. And if you basic attack anything, the slow goes up in duration. Now, it doesn't say the duration here, but I think it was like, what, two, three seconds. So up to four extra. If you damage an enemy with smite, auto attack anyone for self heal. Generic stuff gone. Purge evil. When you purge people, heroes, you gain more basic attack damage. Swift retribution. When you smite your allies, they get even faster. Instead of like 30% to 40, it goes from 30 to 50. And this is, uh, this reminds me of a card game, Hearthstone and Magic. Where, uh, because everyone got so extra mobile in order to keep up, he needs to be more mobile too. So, mobility creep, now 150. Every enemy hit by smite increases Tyrael's basic attack damage by 30%. That's true, Poison Yeg. Every enemy hit. Just like how the level 13 used to be. It was like 80% per hero. More movement speed, but doesn't increase the duration by one second. But it also increases everyone's attack speed. Every hero's attack speed that you smite it. And you can walk through it to get that. That's cool. Gone, gone, gone. So he'll be great with Greymane and Illidan. Sword of Justice. Throw your sword to teleport twice. Return it to tier... Okay, so you can walk up somewhere, you can throw it, the sword is in the ground, you walk away, increasing the distance, teleport to it, and the new sword is in the far distance. You do a bit of dirty work, and then all the way back to your new walked to location. So you can have massive teleporting distance. Holy ground, now on level 13. Doesn't last as long, but it comes earlier. My big concern was that they remove Holy Ground. Because it's so iconic and intrinsic to Tyrael. I thought maybe they'll be like, Holy Ground is OP. Let's just remove it. But they brought it earlier. That's nice. And I'm glad that they didn't go the easy route of adding it to his base kit or something. Which would be pretty crazy. What's the main change of this update? Tyrone. Yeah, and you, you cannot have two Holy Grounds because it's the same tier. New, Law and Order. Isn't that a TV show? Reduce the cooldown of Righteousness by one second for each enemy hero hit by Smite. Right, righteousness, hey, the Malfurion treatment. <laughs> righteousness increases the damage of your next Smite for each ally effect. And, oh, it's a little bit, it's a little bit like... Uh,
like the switcheroo talents from Hanzo at level 16. What's it called? His Snape. Stormbow, auto attack. Stormbow, auto attack. And here it's like smite. Uh -huh, bigger shield. More shields. It's uh, bigger smite. Cool. Generic stuff. Go on. Burning hello. Druin and Tyriel deal 15 damage per second to nearby enemies. Ah. Hello indeed. This damage is increased by 100% for Tyriel for 3 seconds after teleporting to Eldruin. Herodric Reforging. Move from level 4. Basic attacks reduce the cooldown of Eldruin's might by 1.5 seconds. Ah, good. There's still a way to deplete yourself of all mana. But that's, uh, that's pretty strong. And I think his auto attack speed is still 1.25. Smite the wicked. Ah, I'm safe. Smite's cooldown recharges 100% faster while a druid is out. And for 3 seconds after teleporting. Okay. A lot of these have like the Blade Master Windwalk treatment. Interesting. So he's still got his two heroic upgrades Angel of Justice for judgment and holy arena for uh sanct they removed the spell shield and the passive uh, spell armor that he used to have it's gone uh, and they removed nexus blades and now activate this to reduce all incoming damage by 40 percent anytime Tyrael or an ally shielded by righteousness take damage reduce the cooldown okay Every time Tyrael casts a basic ability, increases his attack speed by 50%. That's really good. Can you still global cast in the gate? Good. You can still do that. Alright. Tyrael rework. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, turn off allied heroes. And turn off Arthas. Okay. So the new Tyrael has about 7% more health. Eldruins works similarly, but it costs 5 mana less than before. Reactivating still teleports you. You have 5 seconds to do so. Righteousness also costs 10 mana less. 50 instead of 60. And it shields allies for 40%. Instead of um, a token amount. It's the same as before, but it makes certain talent interactions more clear. Smite's mana cost didn't change, but it does a little bit more damage. And it's still, if you move through it, you gain that movement speed. Or if you cast it on someone. That's a two second period. <coughs> now, you have new talents. Salvation increases only the amount of shield that Tyrael gains himself. By 25%. The level 20 value for it. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Is a bonus 184 extra shield. If you fulfill the threshold of taking 184 bonus damage. In addition to the base shield of 737. When you, when you lose the entire 184 plus 737 in shields. Then and only then you get the heal for 274 health. So you have nearly a thousand shield that needs to be broken through in order to gain 274 bonus health. It also means that the amount of effective extra shield slash health that you can get is 184 plus the 274. It's about 450. <laughs> 450 bonus self-sustain if the conditionals are all met. It's not great in numbers. I don't think Choose it's a lot a of good numbers. The cooldown is 10 seconds. So I classify salvation as not a very good talent. But if you need to self-sustain, maybe you choose it. Now justice for all increases the allied shield instead of 295 Choose a talent. to 737. Which is about... What is it? 450 extra shield? Five hundred. 
Oh no, four, 440. It's about the same. Something like that. 440. So, uh, this also applies to all allies. Not just one ally. Even if it was just one ally, they get the same amount of self-sustain and salvation offers. But with an easier conditional. Because this one, you need to break through nearly 900 plus bonus shields. 900 plus shields to get that heal. And this one is only 7... 37 is less damage that needs to be broken through to get the full efficiency of the shield which is the amount itself 737 now ardent restoration when you hit someone once you start getting five health per second and that's your level 20 value it's not great but it stacks within a grace period of five seconds like this is five health per second but if you hit someone a lot and stack it all the way to 10 you will gain 55 health per second. And once this timer runs out here in the UI, that's where your grace period ends and you start from the start. Not fantastic numbers, but Tyrael has a pretty good attack speed of 125. It activates off of spells and presumably burning rage as well. So it's a lot of self-sustain and probably easier to meet than salvation. Easier to get. Moving on to level four. Stalwart Angel. When you throw out your sword, you've got 25 armor, reducing all damage by 25%. And also after you teleport to it for another 3 seconds. Note that your Eldruin's Might can be reactivated within 5 second period, though it doesn't say so in the tooltip and it probably should. The slow slows someone for 2.5 seconds for 25%. Upon the first throw, as well as the teleportation. It's always like that. Choose a talent. Bound by Choose law. Talent. In increase Eldruin's might slow by 10%. So 35% slow. And when you basic attack people, you can bring up the duration to a total of 6.5 seconds. Choose a talent. This ends here. Two and a half after I stopped attacking, roughly. There's no visual indicator for it, it seems. How slow someone is. Except the usual purple circles that slow that show the slow. Two and a half seconds plus a total of four extra for six and a half seconds. Divine Vigor. If Smite hits an enemy, Tyrael's basic attacks within the next four seconds heal for 50%. Igniting thrusters. His health has been increased by about 7%, Big Bad Grey Wolf. Now note that I smited the hero and I'm now... Hey? Oh yeah, I didn't pick it. Choose a talent. I smite the hero and now I'm healing for 50% of my auto attack damage. Total of 86. You don't have to attack heroes to get the heal. You smite a hero, but then you can attack anything you like to get the value out of Divine Vigor. It's okay, it's it's not bad. Moving on to seven. Reciprocate. It's the same as before. It existed before and it still does. Choose a talent. When it pops, you have the UI here. And the UI of the shield is slightly shorter than his health and manavar. See? Anyone triggered? I know I'm not. Choose a talent. Perch evil. Choose each talent. each enemy hero hit by smite increases Tyrael's basic attack damage by 35% for Choose 4 seconds. Talent. 171, 231. Crit, crit, crit. Now if you hit 4 heroes with it, that's a nice bonus of 140% on your, on your base. Uh, you have a times 2.4 factor multiplier. Choose a talent. Should be pretty good if you can hit that many. Choose a talent. Finally, Choose a talent. Swift Retribution. Smite grants 20% more movement speed for a total of 45% instead of 25. And also grants attack speed for 2 seconds. Now, because Smite is staying on the ground for 2 seconds, that means that I should be able to get a 4 second Same value course. out of it. Yeah. 
and that seems about right. Now, if you just walk through the edge of Smite, it's only about two seconds. So, staying in Smite from the beginning to the end, you can have up to four seconds max bonus attack speed and movement speed if you kite within it. Going to level 10. Judgment, unchanged. Sanctification, Choose a talent. unchanged. With some cool graphics on the mecha skin, of course. Sword of Justice. Upon teleporting using Eldruin's Might, you swap places with your sword. A talent. Pretty cool. Now I'm gonna remove cooldowns so you can see what it's really like. Keep in mind that the duration is shared among the Eldruins. It doesn't reset. Accelerating. So if you're too late, you can only use it once. And what if you're almost at the end? Can you double click it? That's the fastest that you can double click it. Do, do. So it's not instant. It's not like. <laughs> but it's pretty damn cool. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Holy Grant is now at level 13. But it only lasts for three seconds instead of four seconds. But it comes three levels earlier. Interesting. And then choose a talent. Law and order. Talent. Each enemy hero hit by smite reduces the cooldown of righteousness. Each ally hero shielded by righteousness increases the damage of the next smite. Choose a talent. So my smite does 329. But if I shield someone first. It does 411. And that's per enemy and allied hit. This is a fantastic power level. And it, you, it should be noted that all of Tyriel's level 13 talents are amazingly powerful. Insane juking. And insane zoning. And insane bonuses. My shield shields for 295 to an ally. With a cooldown of 10 seconds. Uh, I can make it to 9 seconds. I feel like the shield allies into smite damage is even better than the other way around. But the other way around helps each other. They empower each other. Choose a talent. Very strong level 13 talents. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Heraldric Reforging. Tyriel's basic attacks reduce the cooldown of a Druin's Might by one and a half seconds. Pretty cool. Tactical maneuvers underway. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Burning Halo. A talent. While Eldruin's Might is active, both Tyrion and Eldruin deal 33 damage per second. This is level 20 values. For three seconds after the telly, it's 66 on Tyrion. Choose a talent. Setting a course. Smite the wicked. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. While a druid's might is active, and for three seconds after teleporting, smite's cooldown recharges faster. Choose a talent.
Works as intended. Pretty strong. Cool. Level 20. Angel of Justice is as it was. Holy Arena is as it was. Defense of the Angels. Gain 40 armor for 5 seconds. And each time you shield an ally... No. Each time Righteousness Shield absorbs a single tick of damage. CDR by 3 seconds. This ends here. Look at that cooldown. Now imagine that you get the shield reduction. And you can effectively have a tiny, tiny cooldown of maybe 20, 30 seconds. The smaller ticks, the easier. Poison, Tracer, thank you very much, Lee. Justice will now commence. Yeah, Justice will commence with a talent like that. But it's only 40 armor. Executing and Hanzo is going to take off 25. Seal of Eldruin. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Upon using a basic ability, grant 50% attack speed for 3 seconds. My attack speed is 125, 188. Accelerating. Also counts on the teleport. You can have near 100% uptime, and with the right talents, you will have 100% uptime. Yeah, you can have 100% uptime easy. Now, this is 40 armor, and it can be stacked, of course, with your uh, armor from the shield, from the Choose sword. A talent. Choose a talent. Uh, Choose a talent. Where's the where's the armor from the where, where was it? Oh yeah. Choose a talent. Sixty five. Okay, so there's a way to gain 65 armor if you combine two talents. Well, what's the judgment? I like it. He had no talent diversity before. Now I would say probably he does. I don't know if he's stronger or weaker, but I like it. Looks pretty good. Auto attack Tyrael will with self heals versus Sonya. Yeah. The smite talent at four set enemy, not hero, by the way. Hmm. Let's see. Your presence honors me. Right. So this works on jungling as well. Good point. Works on buildings. Is this the best healing you can do? Let's 